All right, guys, so um, the first thing you're gonna do when you're ready for those highlights is look at the steps up there because for me to give you one of these oil pastels, you have to do all the steps before the highlight step. So let's look at mine. I colored everything in. There's no black paper showing on my cake. And I overlapped colors, so for example, yellow and green right here, yellow and white right here, and brown and orange up at the top. Next, I also um, added my gradation on each side to create a shade or a shadow on one side of my cake. So it's beginning to look three-dimensional. I also, and this step isn't up there, but it might be something you think about, I outlined some of my details to make them really pop out and um, stand out. So now that I've done all those steps, I raise my hand and Miss McBroom, moi, will come and give you an oil pastel and you'll begin working on those highlights. So I'll show you what it looks like to actually add your highlight onto one part of your cake. Okay, so you can see right here, I've already added a highlight and I'm gonna do one up here as well. Notice that using my artist brain, I know that my highlight is gonna be on the opposite side of my shadow because my highlight is where the light is hitting it and my shadow or my shade is where the light has trouble getting to it. Okay, so right here is where I'm gonna add my highlight. I'm not right adding it right at the edge because that part kind of curves away. All right, so it looks like a big stripe. I do not, people want to leave it like this. That looks like I just put a stripe on my cake. So now that I colored my white part dark, I'm gonna fade it out by pressing less with the oil pastel. So I'm barely touching the paper as I get further away from that mark. Now I'm really gonna touch a paper lightly. Notice I'm even holding my oil pastel lighter, which helps me draw it lighter. So now I have a much better highlight. It's faded out a little bit more. I could even smudge it with my finger a bit as kind of a final step. So it looks more like a highlight and rather than just a little white mark on one side of my cake. Now that I did this up here, I'm thinking maybe I need to add some more white here and here because it's not bright like it is on this side. I could even add highlights to things like cherries. I could even add some highlights up here in some of my chocolate sauce on the side that I know is gonna be a little bit lighter. I'm gonna keep going and then you guys will get to see what it looks like when it's actually done. 